Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Kent. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. I really do. Hope you're doing just fantastic. Time again for another knife of the day. Later on this week, I'm expecting two brand new Spydacos. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully Wednesday. This is Monday of the week. Hopefully on Wednesday definitely on Thursday and I'm excited about the two. They are distributor exclusives. So rare knives, Spydaco variations and two knives that I'm really excited to show you. But today it is not a Spydaco. Today it's a brand new knife. It's the Paragon Phoenix. The Paragon Phoenix. Now maybe it's kind of familiar to you. Remember this? The Paragon Phoenix is the brand new one. This is the Paragon Warlock, both from Asheville Steel. This is the new knife. This is the first knife that they re released with their remarkable locking. See the lock? where it opens up and then it's free wheeling and then you close it that way. Well, this was with the spear and then they came out with this and I think it is an improvement on the other one. I love, as I told you, the Paragon Warlock. I did do a video on that. If you want to check it out, check it out on my playlist. But some people didn't like that super aggressive spear, um, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, dagger, that super aggressive dagger blade. So they came out with this one, the Phoenix, and I'll tell you, they did a, a number of improvements. Now, remember last time I gave you guys forewarning. It's difficult to do justice to this knife because of how that lock works. And so, believe me, this thing works great. And the Phoenix works better even than the Warlock. They've tightened it up a little, so there's not a lot of bouncing. You know, with the Warlock, you had a lot of bouncing, and so sometimes you would even catch the blade when it closed. They got rid of that. It's a little stiffer, but it works close to 100%. So let's talk about it. One of the biggest changes is this blade. Now it's a spear point instead of a dagger. But, <laughs> hey, it is still an aggressive blade. It is a double-sided blade, except for right here, where the dagger is sharpened all the way down this isn't so you can get better purchase on it which makes this to me to me a better edc knife so you can do your regular edc functions with this knife i think this spear point is just a little better edc knife than the dagger still an aggressive one though it's not like you can't be aggressive with it because look at the other side. Again, it's sharpened too, and it has those serrated edges. It's a combo blade on the back end, sharpened combo blade. So, again, real nice knife. Comes out of the package, very sharp. This one came out of the package. I don't know if it's because I had so much practice on the Warlock that this lock just seems to work a lot better. Or if it's because Paragon had a lot of experience after releasing the Warlock. Really love this knife. Jimping more on the handle, so as part of it, more on the aluminum handle, so it gives you that grip that you expect on both sides where your thumb rests right there on a great grip. I think the fact that the handle has this shape, it's easier to grab and run. Yes, 
the clip still needs to be in the palm of your hands when you operate it so that it's operating the right way. And this clip is only right hand tip up. But because of the shape, when you pick it up, you know that like the horn of the shape needs to be facing forward, right? Like you would do with any knife. So while with the Phoenix every now and then I pick it up because the shape is the both, whether it's right or left, then you'd go, hey, the clip's in the wrong side. You turn it around, you know the open is right. Here it's easy. You pick it up, you put it where it's supposed to be in the th in your hands just from the feel of it, and it opens. This is a really nice knife. Now, it doesn't have as much, I know it's going to sound crazy, it doesn't have like that shotgun sound of the first one, right? And by the way, I missed right there opening it up. Trust me, it is not the knife. It's because my field of view with this camera is so limited and I'm trying to open it while you guys can see it. But usually you don't care about the small field of view of a camera when you're opening a knife, right? This thing snaps open. It's beautiful. It's a little quieter than the other one. <laughs> it still has that great sound. I love the sound when it opens. I love the sound when it closes. Uh, this knife, along with the Warlock, stays on my desk. No matter how messy my desk is, full of knives and coins and all that stuff, this thing stays because I play with it night and day, day and night. In fact, I bought two of these. It was kind of an accident. We'll, we'll talk about that another day. Do you ever do that? <laughs> I'm feeling good. A little buzzing. I order something, then I forget I order it, then I order it again. And this one, I would have canceled it, but I like two of them. So I think you can bet that one of my phoenixes will be up. At least, at least one of the phoenixes will be up when I thin my collection. So let's give you the stats on this knife. It is so much better. It doesn't, one thing that makes it better and again, nothing about the Warlock is bad. It's just because when you press, and that's the lock, you press these two, and then the blade falls because the blade then is free flowing. It's just there's a little bit more tension on that blade. And the makers are smart. Because there's a little bit more tension, it doesn't bounce where when you had the Warlock, it literally gave up all tension. See how that went and did not bounce? That's the big change. If I did this with the Warlock, it would bounce up and down a little once it hit. They did a great job with that. The blade, S9, uh, S30V, S30V steel, just like the Warlock. Double edge, as I told you, with that combo blade on the back end of it, if you want a tactical knife. But the front edge, just a wonderful spear point, great for EDC work. 3.9 inch blade. This is not a small knife. I'm going to compare it to the new Police Lightweight and the Endura at the end, and you can get a feel for it. The total is 9.4 inches, just pretty much like the other knife. Weighs 5.75 ounces. So these aren't light knives because they're pretty thick. This is thinner than the, Fien than the uh, Warlock. Feels a little better in your pocket. Doesn't take up as much room as the Warlock either. I think the big part of this, the Phoenix to me, that's better, is definitely the swing of the blade. Because a lot of times, it was so freewheeling in the first one, this never bounces up when it goes in. When you release it, of course it falls, and it just stays there, where the other one would bounce a little. I love them both. 
if you like to sit and flip your knives, there is no flipper on the market that is better than this. Having these three knives on my desk, I'm always fidgeting with them. But as a knife itself, it is just a wonderful buy. Aluminum scales, tip up, right hand only. Now the Warlock has a right hand and left hand tip up only. Just a wonderful knife. If you want a special knife, I'm just happy to have this knife. I never heard of Asheville Steel. I knew about the Phoenix, not the Phoenix, I knew about the Warlock off and on because it was a new lock. I saw it a lot. I saw a lot of variations on it. But this Phoenix, I only looked after I bought the Warlock and fell in love with it if they had another one. And this is the Phoenix. There you have it, the knife of the day, the Paragon Phoenix from Asheville Steel. It is the follow-up to the Paragon Warlock. If you haven't seen my new video on the brand new Police 4 Lightweight from Spydeco, that's on the website. The website, that's on YouTube. Check it out on the playlist. The playlist, there are so many videos on this channel. I've lost count. So if you ever in need to see knives and things, <laughs> check out the playlists. And there's the There are the knives compared to all of the bigger Spydecos. So you can see it's got size on it. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Paragon Phoenix from Asheville Steel. Hope you guys are having a perfect day. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notifications. And... I tell you, I did this this morning and I slept in, I, I woke up early, I usually do around five or six, it's the curse of being 60 I guess, and then I crawled back in the bed, didn't wake up until noon, I feel so energetic, sleep is so important. This isn't about sleep though, the other thing that's so important is turning off your toys. I have a problem of that, and that's why I don't sleep as much. But I want you to take time, especially as a man, we don't do that a lot. It's work, it's family, it's all kinds of things. Women too, obviously, uh, but mostly men watch this channel. So take some time out from your toys, okay? Spend some time with yourself. Sometimes that's the hardest time to have, but you need it. Trust me, please trust me. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.